yesterday was the first time trying this rice water treatment. Um... <laughs> Welcome, this is Miss Lauren Year 11 and today I'm going to be showing you my fall or autumn wash and go for 2018. Now the reason why I label my wash and goes through the year, so I think I've done a 2016 one, I've definitely done 2017 and this is obviously my 2018. Reason being because my routine regimen it does change throughout the years, especially as my hair is growing, my texture may change due to hormone reasons, I don't know. But obviously there are changes, so I'm going to be showing you what I do this year. Okay guys, first before I go ahead, it is coming up to my two year anniversary of my Big Chop. So if you would like to see how I got from this to this now, then you can go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell because you don't want to miss that video. So first off, I, I didn't video how I washed my hair because I've got so many videos on that but I'm gonna insert pictures here. So this is what my hair looked like, taking it down initially. This is an old wash and go, okay guys? Yeah. And then I'm gonna show you guys, I used something. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon, I just wanted to see. I've used rice water, so I used it in my hair. And before I move on to the next picture, this is what my hair looked like with the rice water in it. Now let me just say guys, um, obviously yesterday was the first time trying this rice water treatment um i can't say i'm not a fan of it but one thing i will say is i didn't like how it felt to my hair my hair felt tangled and it felt like there was um not greasy but like a, there was definitely it felt like there was definitely a coating on my hair it felt like my, my, my hair was almost stripped i know it's protein but um and i left it on for 20 minutes but I mean, as soon as I put it on my hair, that's how my hair felt. But once I washed it off, it did feel okay. It wasn't super soft as I've heard some say. But once I conditioned my hair after, which was hair, once I conditioned my hair afterwards, my hair felt amazing. It was super soft, absolutely okay, So lovely. this is my day one wash and go. As you can see, my hair is quite flat. It's not full of volume. And this was my last wash and go that I'd done prior. Day four here. So it went up to seven days, but this is my day four here. As you can see, it's nice, voluminous and what have you. So I will say this, guys. In my routine, I do add olive oil to my hair. If you don't want to have flat hair like this, then I'd say add less olive oil, obviously, because it does weigh the hair down. Um, with this wash and go, the last one shown here, I just added the olive oil to my ends. But this, I've done it on my scalp and I've done it throughout, as you'll see, guys. So, if you, as I said, if you don't want this look and you prefer this look, use less olive oil. Okay, guys, carry on watching. <laughs> 